hello friends this is uh, video number one of our new series the secure connection between the server and client the SSL connection at the beginning of the video I'll give you some presentation about what we will have in this series the SSL client server series the first video we will show you and it is uh, an important way is that you need to configure your OpenSSL file to create the root certificate so this is the basic step the first step that you need to do before you create the root certificate in video number two you will talk about how we can create the root certificate from which we will create an intermediate certificate once we have creating the root certificate and the root key we will forget to totally about the root certificate and especially the root key and then we will create from them a root an intermediate certificate now this intermediate certificate we will use to create other certificate in video number four we will create the server certificate video number five we will create the client certificate both these certificates we will do we will create from the intermediate certificate then we will move to the client machine we need to how can we put these certificates on the client machine and how can we configure the client machine then in video number seven we will talk about the concepts of the SSL client how does PostgreSQL see that this connection is secure what are the criteria what are the main point that if available then this connection is secure otherwise PostgreSQL will not see that this connection is secure there are two major ways two major concept the first concept of connection PostgreSQL doesn't see as a total secure the second concept if you do with it then PostgreSQL will tell you that this is a total secure connection between the server and the client we will do both of them I will show you both of them in both concept the first concept and the second one so you can know what are the differences between the two ways and why the first concept is really not totally secure if you work by the first concept and you set up your connection according to the first concept then your connection is not secure and then you have to configure your device and server and uh, client so you can get the second concept which will be that entirely secure connection between your client and the server now these are the videos that we will talk from now on 10 videos by the end of it you will know exactly how you can create a secure connection between your clients devices and your server okay now let's start the process starting with configuring the OpenSSL file 